as promised, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm so tired. Put your shoes on and grab a Betty, cause it's Betty time and I'm Betty, your host for Vlogmas 2020. Okay, I'm doing my makeup with my Ipsy bag. I'm just using the sparkly shade everywhere because I'm a shimmer kind of gal, you know? And I don't have any like base layer on because I have to put on a mask anyway. And I'm just trying to let my skin breathe. So don't mind me. I'm so tired. Oh, I didn't like that. I don't like this brush either. I'm gonna use my finger. Get this done with. Oh my god, better, better, better. Yeah, much better. Probably can't see a difference. It's still dark out, so the lighting in my room is not good. Mm. Now for the eyeliner. I think I'm just gonna do... Oh my god. Could I stop poking myself in the eye? I honestly should just call this doing my makeup in the dark. I can't see anything. And lastly, the Bobbi Brown mascara. Oh, I like this. I actually liked everything, that's surprising. And now I'm just gonna do a little brow gel. Tame the beasts. Today is Christina's birthday, so I got her an evergreen candle from Bath and Body Works. And I just like wrote her a little card, so I'll leave that here for when she comes in today. Hopefully she does come in. She's a busy bee. Lunch time, I got the goods. Christina and I both ordered salads, so I just went and picked them up. She got hers from Freshy. I got mine from Pico. That was a big salad. For reference, that's Christina's. <laughs> Sorry, I'm daily vlogging again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christina's. <laughs> Do not touch Christina's. <laughs> and her side of sriracha. I don't know. I'm really excited about mine. I can't even remember what's in it. It has chicken, strawberries, spinach, romaine, and a bunch of stuff underneath. You sound like a goblin. I have 10 minutes to make it to Scotiabank. <laughs> Am I going to make it on time? Let's see. It's almost 5 o'clock and it's not dark out yet. That's so shocking. I, I made it to Scotia and TD, but not to BMO unfortunately so oh well Sarah Mae got me this gorgeous advent calendar it's a friend's one I'm obsessed and in the note on Amazon she wrote it was from the holiday armadillo oh my goodness it's so pretty it came with this inside too could we be any more excited absolutely not okay where's number one right here welcome to our tropical christmas party rachel how do i open it at the top oh no i ripped it i'm so sorry i'm sorry rachel green it is sticky no oh my goodness it's so cute and where is number two? Oh my gosh. Ignore my nails. Wow. It's Marcel. I'm so pumped. Okay. So we are moisturized. 
snaps for skincare and we're going for like a barney vibe with the purple and green lights i love you you love me that's what i'm giving you and today seemed like an average day no well you would be wrong in thinking that because today is the most magical time of the year the day we wait for all year while listening to music spotify dropped their wrapped playlists so i'm gonna talk about mine my top 10 why i listen to them so many times and yeah that, that that's it actually that's what i'm gonna do so the first one my most played song was the one by taylor swift i think this is very self-explanatory as it is the best song on folklore and I listened to it over 500 times. I was in like the top 0.5% of her fans. She was my most listened to artist as well. And that song, I had some trouble with it at first because I have a thing about the way that she said I'm on some new shit. I didn't like that. I don't know why I didn't like it, but apparently I got over it. And yeah, that's my number one song. Number two, I listened to Martin and Gina by Polo G so many times. It's the only song I know by Polo G and he was my top two artists. Like he was my second most listened to artist and that was my most second listened to song. Um, I've never seen the show Martin and Gina. I saw a clip of his music video on Twitter and I was like, oh, I'm gonna check it out. And then I just fell in love with the song and I listened to it over and over and over again. And that's, that's how it became my number two. It's a really good song. It's, um, I don't know what genre it is, hip hop, I guess. Um, number three, I don't usually like when songs from past years are in my top whatever in current years. I just like living in the present, but somehow, Liability by Lord ended up my top three and I ain't even mad about it. I love Lord. I would absolutely appreciate a new album anytime now, Lord. <laughs> it sounds like I'm praying like, please Lord, bless us. Bless us with a new album. But Liability just hits those heartstrings and I do listen to music at night, as we know, due to the Betty Bye Bops and Liability was on repeat many many a nights so that is how it made the top three number four is leave it alone by aiden towns i'm pretty sure this song only came out in like october but i'm a huge aiden towns fan he's an east coast artist and i've been a fan of him for like since before he changed his name he used to be andy brown and i was a big fan of him then and i've just been like completely following his career he just dropped i think the ep is called kids eh, i might be wrong about that but definitely listen to leave it alone i don't know what it is about it but oh really good song i don't know what genre that would be like pop rock folk go listen and tell me I'm so bad at identifying genres. Number five is Sleep at Night by The Chicks, formerly The Dixie Chicks. And that whole album was probably, Spotify didn't tell me this, I'm just telling myself this, it was probably my most listened to, like overall, like I listened to all the songs many times, but Sleep at Night and Gaslighter were for sure standouts <laughs> on my playlist. Uh, Sleep at Night is about, it's like directed to the main singer, lead singers, Natalie's ex-husband's probably girlfriend. Oh, how do I say that? Like the girl, the woman that he cheated on her with. And it's like, how do you sleep at night? And it's just so good. I've never even been cheated on. I feel like I have been just by listening to this song. <laughs> okay, so that's my top five. And then number six and seven, oh wait, no, number seven and eight are the same. <laughs> number six is Can You Blame Me by Kilani featuring Lucky Day. And honestly, Kilani's album, Chef's Kiss, I think I listened to Can I by Kilani a lot more 
then can you blame me? So that kind of confused me. I don't know, maybe this was just like on a playlist and I listened to it after another song a lot because I honestly couldn't even like sing you a line from it. I could probably sing all of Can I? <sighs> Can I by Kilani? That's one I recommend for sure. It's a sexy song. Sexy song. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of like not skip over it, but like there are, are other songs by Kilani that deserve to be on this playlist a lot more than Can You Blame Me, although it is still a good song and she can pretty much do no wrong. And the next two, seven and eight, are both called Something Stupid. And originally it's by Frank and Nancy Sinatra. So that's number eight. I listened to that. And then I was listening to it a lot in August when I went home. I just kind of like came across it and I was like, oh yeah, this is a good song. And then I remembered there's a cover by The Secret Sisters that I got years and years ago and I started listening to that instead and then apparently more than the original and they both became my top seven and eight song. It's a really good song. I probably recommend the Secret Sisters version more apparently but I mean if you're gonna listen to the father-daughter duo go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. And what's next? Number nine, Explain You by J.P. Sachs. I am a little disappointed that J.P. Sachs wasn't my top three artists, like my top artist. I thought I really, the amount that I've listened to J.P. Sachs in 2020 is crazy because I just discovered him very early on in the year, like right before If the World Was Ending, I heard same room that was the first song that i heard and then he has one with charlotte lawrence who i have been a big fan of so like i knew of him maybe i heard him like last year but like he dropped an album or an ep or something and then if the world was ending featuring julia michaels or like their song together like went very very plat platinum that's not the word <laughs> viral and yeah so basically what i'm getting at is explain you is a beautiful song. I thought three minutes would have been in my top one. That's the one I thought I listened to more, but Explain You by J.P. Sachs is a beautiful song. His songwriting, it could melt me easily. And number 10, last but not least, this is another one from past year, probably last year. I don't know what year it came out in, but it is, um, is It Really Me or Missing by Nina Nesbitt. And she's probably one of my top artists of all time. I've also been following her career for a really long time. And she's a Scottish singer. Yeah, Scottish. Jess and I went to see her. It must have been 2018 or early 2019 or late. I am so bad at remembering when I did things. Um. Anyway. I love Nina Nesbitt and this is probably my favorite song by her and I've listened to it a lot because it's another one that I listen to at bedtime. Betty, Betty, bye bops. Um, so I've listened to it on repeat a lot overnight and it's just like so chill and kind of sad and emotional and her voice is so unique. Anyway, so those are my top 10. I really should actually go to sleep now <laughs> so um oh yeah my christmas song um, and in honor of taylor swift being my most played artist tonight's betty by bop is brrr, um santa baby by taylor swift i'm not actually sure if it's on spotify but um it's like country and santa baby and you can't go wrong anyway um on that note I'll see you tomorrow. Betty Pies.